Man, I gotta chime in on this R. Kelly bullshit, man. I just, man, I've seen a fuck enough of this shit. You know what, man? Like, I, look, dude. I'm just saying mathematically, maybe dude is innocent. I don't know, man. Presumed innocent until found guilty or otherwise. Look, man, I'm going to tell you what I feel. I'm one Sir Grow, man. This is casting 495 celebrities worldwide. So I just watched the CBS interview, right? Some of the shit that, this, that I'm seeing just doesn't even add up. I, so, like... Again, I don't know R. Kelly. You know, I have never met the dude. You know what I'm saying? I try to remain objective and sensibly, uh, you know, impartial at times when I don't have intel. You know what I'm saying? I don't have info. Like, I'm just reading fucking through the um, blogs and threads and, like, doing research like anyone else, right? I'm just going to say flat out. If R. Kelly is innocent, if he is, he just doesn't sound convincing, man. His shit sounds completely unconvincing. And that interview that I saw was fucking bonkers. Like, I mean, okay, like, I'm going to be honest, dude. I don't believe R. Kelly's story, period. I mean, dude, like that interview. I mean, he, from what I understand, amassed a fortune. And again, I'm I'm just investigating the matter independently as an observer like anyone else, man. I'm just exploring the universe and seeing what's what. That R. Kelly CBS, I believe it was, interview, that shit was fucking stupid. Like, I mean, if that were a grand jury or, like, jurors observing, like, that interview, I I mean, I I can't, you know, I I can't foresee the outcome of it. But, man, if, look, man, that shit just looked fucked up for him, in my opinion, in my view. Again, maybe the dude is somehow innocent. Maybe it's not like Bill Cosby. Maybe he is fucking innocent. I don't know. Maybe he is. And maybe people are just trying to team up against him because they're like, fuck him. Let's take his ass down and just start lying about this nigga. I don't fucking know. What I do know is this. If he is innocent, man, he's got to change his. He's got to switch it up, man, in terms of how he presents information. So he, from what I understand, he amassed a fortune at some point. Does he still have it? I don't know. I don't know the reality of his books, right? But at some point, he was moving enough uh, members of the crowd, the audience, to make big fucking bucks, right? Well, if he's done all of those stage performances and he's performed as many times as he has, this shit looked like a performance to me that didn't go right for him, man. Like, he says that he just now started speaking out because he had been silent all along. Are you fucking serious, R. Kelly? Man, if somebody had some fake ass allegations uh, uh, about me in terms of like sexual impropriety and said that I was some type of fucking offender or some shit, man, I would have long cleared my name long ago, bro. Like, like I would have like, man, for real, bro, like, like you, you stayed silent for all these years and you didn't say anything or much about any of these allegations until just fucking now because what your attorney told you to maybe maybe i'm just saying maybe it's because of the way that you present your information in your case and your side of this fucking story which to me i mean dude i saw where you beat the case which was like 14 indictments or allegations or whatever it was previously on child pornography or whatever it was man but bro this new shit with all these women who haven't met each other and they're all telling the same story. Yo, bro, it is possible that you're innocent, but your interview on CBS looked fucked up, bro. Like that shit looks like you did it, bro. I'm just being honest. Like the way that you're communicating on on camera, it looked fake as fuck, bro. Like it looked hella fake. And you're talking about like you're not a you're not you're not a a, a devil and you're not a demon and you're not a monster and all this kind of stuff, bro come on man like that's what you want to do with your life have all that money that you had man and you want to fucking have all these like escapades that you had and, and and all this shit man to then be doing these types of interviews it's like man you could have been a lot more constructive and productive with your life bro i'm just being honest man like i mean bro like it don't look good for you i'm being honest man and that's my take on it like none of what you said none of what r kelly said is convincing in, in, in my view. It looks like a charade. It looks like pure artifice. It looks like a ruse. And it's one big fucking red herring. I could be wrong. He could just be 
uh, an ineffective communicator when it comes to giving these types of um, interviews to, to clear his name. I mean, dude, it, it just don't look right. I mean, it it looks bad, man. And, um, bro, like, you got to learn how to communicate more effectively in these types of interviews if you want to convince me because I'm unconvinced. At this point, I would think that you did it. You know what I'm saying? I, I'm holding out saying, man, there's there, there's the mathematical probability that, that you could not have done it. But, dude, it looks to me like you did, and it sounds like you did. Totally unconvincing. Absolutely unfucking convincing in my book, in my opinion, in my view. That interview is fucking stupid. That, the, I mean, from everything that R. Kelly said, it just looks like he's just making up fucking stories and lies, man. And that was a totally bad performance in, in my opinion, because I think it's a performance. I, I mean, it looks so theatrical. It looks so feigned. It looks so artificial, so fucking fake. It's like, dude, come on, man. Stop, bro. For real. That's just my opinion as a casual observer. And I have to keep hearing this shit in the media for all these years about these allegations against <clears throat> um, R. Kelly. And then something about he was taking something to lower his libido. Like for what? Like what? Like you had what type of urges, bro? Like, and so, but, but, but then you're saying that, you know what I mean? It's like the stories don't jive. They don't add up. It's just some weird fucking stupid shit. And it's taken up media bandwidth, dude. And and again, bottom line, I've said it enough times in less than seven minutes. Totally unfucking convinced, man. And I'm one sir grow, and that's real talk from your boy, O S G O E, Big Grove Dog, aka that rapper Dr. Grove. <laughs>